What's up, everybody? Hola. So, when you've got two long snappers every day in practice, <laughs> what goes into evaluating the two of them and deciding who's going to snap Monday night? Right, so first and foremost, we normally take them on field three and we work them out. Myself and Coach Mile, we take them through drills. We try to put them in adverse situations and put pressure on them and see how they respond to pressure. We also try to pay attention to how they learn, right? If a guy picks things up quickly, he has an advantage in my opinion. And then today is a punt period, so they'll get tested by our scout team, 100%. How do you simulate the adverse situations and pressure in a practice environment? R rush the heck out of them. It'll be eight-man fronts. It'll be nine-man fronts. We'll run twists. We'll run games. Try to confuse their eyes to see how disciplined they are. All that type of stuff. Uh, same thing we did with Bob and Meyer. You got to test those guys in the A gaps. You got to test them with twists to see how they respond to that. See if they can get down the middle of their man and protect. That's what we're looking for. Snap should be easy. Excuse me. Snapping should be easy for them because they've done it their whole life, right? It's the protection part that gets some guys in trouble. Is there a leader in the clubhouse right now? <laughs> Uh, maybe, but I'm not going to say, you know. <laughs> I'm not going to give our opponent the advantage of that situation. How do, you, how do you balance deciding between the guy who might be more consistent versus maybe one guy gets back there quicker six times with – I'm going with the more, more consistent guy. That's what this, this ball game is about. It's about consistency and everything you do. It's about performing at a high level. I'll keep saying that. So the guy who performs today at the best of his ability will be the guy that wins the job. What have you thought about Montreal's growth just over the last few weeks? Yeah, I've been pleased with what Montrell has done. Again, I got to give credit to the other 10 guys that are blocking for him. But Montrell's a humble kid. He's uh, he's confident. Um, he's, he doesn't lack the ability. You know, I think that he could be an explosive returner once we execute our blocks at a high level. I mean, everybody saw it. it was penetration in the A gap. It shouldn't have, it shouldn't have happened, right? The, the snapper and the right guard could have done a better job at protecting, but it wasn't something that was schemed up. It definitely wasn't a scheme type situation. It was penetration by a bigger guy in the A gap. He got his hands up. He blocked the kick. Shouldn't happen again. The special teams coordinator, you've been kind of rolling with the punches a little bit because you have key guys that get elevated to starters, you know, due to injury. How do you maybe replace or you know try to substitute the production that Alex Singleton has added to what you guys have been able to do? I, I, to be honest with you, I don't think you can. Right? You try to put the best core group of guys out there possible. You try to put them in places so they can be successful in making plays. But to lose Alex, that game that sticks out of my mind where he had three t solo tackles, that was right. I'm happy for him that he's getting the opportunity to start and play defense like he did in Philadelphia, but you miss that type of player because he is a leader and he does have the capability of making plays consistently throughout the game, whether it's kickoff coverage, whether it's punt, as well as doing a good job on kickoff return and punt return, getting his block and sustaining his block. It's a it's a key loss for us on, on special teams. I can't even lie to you. All of, all of Brandon's kickoffs last week were touchback. <laughs> was that by design or did that was that not the plan? Um, Anytime you go in a game, you want to judge the situations, right? Uh, the game was close. Um, me as a coordinator, I'm not going to say that I'm scared to kick the ball in play. That's, that's definitely not the case. But we also want to be smart for our team. We want to give our defense the long field. And to be completely honest, Indianapolis had a good returner back there, right? So we take all those things into consideration. But at the end of the day, we want to kick the ball in play. But we want to be smart with everything we do. What does Michael O.J. Moody bring to the special teams unit when he's back? Well, you know, he's played special teams in a role type last year. He was on kickoff coverage. He did some punt return, things of that sort. Uh, we just have to see where he stands. He'll be implemented in on a couple phases. We'll see what he can do. Obviously, we want the best guys out there. I'll keep saying it. And I'm not saying that he's not. We just have to see how he practiced and then put him in on those phases that he performs at a high level. Uh, I think the guys have a good understanding of our scheme. Um, what, the, what some of the issue is that the core group of our guys are young, which nobody ever pays attention to. Like the teams that we've played so far this year, and I'm not trying to make an excuse. It is what it is. We put, we put those guys out there because we trust them. But if you look at the teams we've played, they've had a core group of guys that have played together for years, and they've had a veteran group, right? We have guys who've 
two years in the league, three years in the league. Uh, Beck and Singleton are uh, the guys who've had the most years in the league that have played on special teams. So we have a young group, and they're trying to grow together as well as learn a new system. That's all going to take time. Like I told you before, anything that's good or great, it takes time to get to there. And that's, and that's what we're doing. Like I said, I don't want to be great at the, end of the, at the beginning of the season and then tell off at the end of the season. I'd rather climb slowly and be right where we need to be towards the middle and the end of the season. Coach Dukes, thank you. Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful day.